Time to start inputting some data. Now, you remember when we um, did the flat file database, the year nine information, all we did is we took the, the Excel file, the CSV file, and we dropped it over the top of the FileMaker Pro icon on your on your screen here and that allowed you to just open it up in one go. This time it's a little bit more complicated. So this is what we're going to do. We'll start with customers because they're a bit easy to look at. So we've got orders, customer and product. So we're going to stick on, go to customer and then we're going up to the word file and import records from a file. So file, import records from a file. And we're going to go to that folder that we've got, the SMAGS database folder. And in there, do you remember right at the start, we introduced the three CSV files. So there's the first one, the one for customers. So that's the one we're going to link it up to. When we click open, it says, OK, so here are our source fields. So these are the, the headings that we've used in the CSV file, in the spreadsheet file. And these are the target field names that we've created in our database. And as you see, we actually made sure we named our fields so that they matched up with that. So we've made life a little bit easy. If you haven't named them all the same, it, 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 then you've got to sort of juggle these about to make sure that they fit properly. But we can just check surname goes with surname, suburb goes with suburb all the way through. Okay. Once they've all matched that, we are going to see what it says there, import this field. So the little arrow saying we're going to take the information from the spreadsheet, from the CSV spreadsheet, and line it up with the fields that we've created in our database. So all we do now is go import and import again. As you can see, 459 records have been put into our database. Okay. Now, if I now scroll through, you can see them all, one, two, three, four. It's brought in the headings as well, so we can, which is this one. Remember, it was because it was a spreadsheet, it's brought in those headings as well, but we can delete that record if we want to later on. Now, there we go. So looking at it that way, but if you look here, see where it says view as? At the moment, we're viewing it as a form. If I click on this one, we're now viewing it um, more as the, the spreadsheet, like we did with Layout 1 and Layout 2 in the earlier examples. So here we go. So now we've got it in both views. So normally we'd work in a form view and we'd work in that, you know, or we can alter it and play with it in that view as well. Okay, so we've done the customer. Let's very quickly do product. Do you remember the sequence? We go to file, import records from a file. Click on the table of products, file, open that one check everything lines up, color, price, product description. Yep, happy with that, we're gonna input. Okay, and go input again. 586 records have now been put into. Check through these, 586, here they all are. Okay, so we've done two, let's do the third one, orders. Now some orders have already been created for us to make life a little bit easier, so we're gonna to go to file, Import records from a file, orders, open, or ID, yes, 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 and import. Okay, a thousand orders have gone in. At the moment, we haven't created any fields on our orders uh, layout, so we'll have to go back and look at those at another date. But Oh, and we'll have to, once we've created the fields coming across, then we'll be able to see what orders we've got. Okay, but at this stage, just go ahead and try that, please, to import all your records into your database.